not suggesting that the time is near and we don't want it to come but father time waits for no man Bruce um, so is there any MC out there that you think is worthy to be past the torch I know the likes of Andy Freelander was working almost under your wing for a while in the UFC and of course Joe Martinez um, is an exceptional ring announcer as well but is there any MCs out there that uh, you feel you could pass the torch to with all respect to all MCs nope Great answer. Um, and I say that with all respect to all announcers. Joe does a fine job. Uh, I worked with Andy once, and then I really never saw him again except the one time. Uh, he didn't maintain his job with the UFC for whatever reason that occurred. Uh, I think other announcers do a, a good job. I think it's very important that they focus on not copying mm. others and develop their own distinct style. But... I don't, I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody else. I'm not that kind of person that would ever make that statement. I just know that what I bring to the octagon, as far as passion, putting everything I have out there, um, with all the fine jobs that I see other announcers do, I don't see anybody that has a level of passion for announcing that I have. And when I see that my level of passion starts to wane, uh, as I think I mentioned to you before, um, I will never put myself in a position of phoning in my job and going in and just doing it for a paycheck. Mm. <clears throat> the moment that I can't deliver the way I like to deliver and more is the moment you will hear me say that it's time for me to retire. And I, and I wish whoever does take my position uh, honors the UFC as much as I do uh, 24-7 every day of my life with the love and belief in both the organization and the love for their job. And that's all I wish, because I just want the UFC to be represented properly. I don't think you're ever going to see anybody else like me again. I think it's going to be over when I'm over. Uh, but you will see a fine announcer doing great work and doing their job, whether it, it be uh, anybody that's out there now doing their work. And again, I say this with all respect to all announcers who I do respect. We're all out there doing our job. We're all out there trying to be the best we can be. I do not compare myself to anybody. I'm just being me. And that's all I can say, you know? I don't know if that answers your question. It certainly <laughs> does. You won't find me disagreeing with a word of it. I don't think, I think you are unique. I think you're one of a kind. Um, and you're the voice of the UFC. I found it hard when uh, Mike Goldberg left the UFC because yeah, yeah. you were so used to him on call. But um, yeah. for me, you are the voice of mixed martial arts. Um, I, I think there's, there's no better place uh, to leave it yeah. I, than there Bruce I think um, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you again um, if oh. anybody it's, it's go watch it's listen to it's time go yeah. get go buy the book of Bruce Buffer your story we covered a lot of it the last time yeah. um, but it, it's a great life you've lived and a great story and uh, we're delighted to listen to you call the fights and get us so amped from the other side of the world you have me jumping off my couch uh, thank you. Listen, gentlemen, I really appreciate it. And I just would like to add, I appreciate all your kind words. That's why I'm on your show again, because I had such a good time with you last time. Um, I just want to say, getting back to your other, the question that you said or asked me about the announcing, I promise that the next 10 plus years that I'm going to be in the octagon, I plan on being in the octagon, I will continue to deliver everything I, I can, passion-wise, energy-wise. Uh, they put their blood, sweat, and tears on the line. I'm going to put everything I have on the line for them and for the fans. And all I can say is that when it's my time to go, I just hope that I'm respected for what I did. And everybody knows that at least every night I went out there, I treat every night like my first show because I have to prove to myself that I'm worthy of being in the octagon. And I'm not, I'll, you'll never hear me talk about when I did a 360. I, I basically judge myself on my last performance. And I will always give it my all. I will make you that promise. And the moment I don't think I can give my all, then it's by time. You know, but you're stuck with me for a while. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want, we want to stretch that 10 years yeah. to 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect way to approach each other. We'll go 20. We'll go 20. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, if I could do it for 20, I would be there. I love what I do. And I feel very humbled and honored. Um, every day is special to me that I can wake up and say that I'm considered the voice of the octagon. It means the world to me. It means the world awesome. to me. Awesome, Bruce. Again, we appreciate your time. Uh, it's an absolute honor talking with you again. And um, best of luck next weekend in Denver. Yes. And uh, bring the house down the way you do every time, my man. I promise you, I will. No question. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Bruce. Cheers. Because you know why? Here you go. It's always time, baby. It's time. It's always time. time. It is time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks many, Bruce. Bruce. 
Cheers, Bruce. Really right, appreciate take it. Care. Take care, my man. Take Big care, cheers Bruce. and Guinness forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. See, See you later, Bruce. Take care. Thank you. Cheers, cheers mate.